John. Welcome to part three in a series of videos reviewing this Artec iMig 180 inverter welder using a spool gun to weld aluminium. In this video, I'm going to take out the rule of 0.8 wire and replace it with a rule of 1mm wire. There's only 0.2mm difference in the diameters, but there's a big difference in the cross sectional area, which means that this 1mm wire will carry a lot more current so you can weld thicker material. All the welding in this video will still be done using that adapter and the standard 13 amp plug with a standard 13 amp fuse. I've put the spool gun in the vise just it makes it easier for me to change the wire using both hands instead of wrestling and fighting with it. Right, quite simple. There's a little nut there that holds the spool of wire on. Left hand thread. The way I do it, I just cut the wire, keeping the hole of it. There's a little hole in the side of the spool. Just lock the wire through there, which means it's safe and the wire won't try and escape from the, the spool. It's not quite as bad as steel wire, but it, uh, it really does want to be off there. If you press that against the spring, it releases the, the tension on the rollers, then you can pull the little bit of wire out. We need to change the tip, obviously, from the 0.8 to a 1mm. Shroud simply comes off. Tip unscrews. You can see the holes there in the Teflon insulator where the, the gas comes out. This is the rule of 1mm of wire we're going to be using. That simply slides onto the guide. There's a little null nut there. If you tighten that, it increases the drag on the spool of wire just to stop it from overrunning. And there's a little Hold it goes in, left hand thread, that locks it. Okay, so our wire's on, it's got a bit of drag on it, not a lot, but enough to stop it from overrunning. I've released the tension of the drive rollers. We'll cut a nice clean end onto the wire. That goes up through that guide between the two rollers. Then just guide it into the torch liner, like that, and that's it out through the other end. Need to put some tension back onto the rollers. The new tip simply slides on. These tips are quite a slack fit on the aluminium wire compared to steel wire because the aluminium wire expands a lot more when it gets hot. It's a gentle nip. On with a shroud. Just check the wire mechanism is feeding nice, which it is. I've got a simple lap joint here, I set up with some four mil aluminium plates. I'm going to run down with one and run a weld just to see what sort of settings we're going to need to weld four mil. Right, as you can see that's not a very good weld, it's either got too much wire and not enough current, the weld's standing up but doesn't penetrate it at all, so I'll get two new bits and what I'll do this time is I'll leave the wire speed the same and I'll turn the welding voltage up which will give it more current. Right, so I'm going to leave the wire speed as it was and give it a little bit more voltage. As you can see that's welded much better. The weld's not standing up proud, it's actually a nice smooth weld. There's a little bit of black suit on there. I think black suit is more a, a symptom of alloy MIG welding than it is a problem. So that's quite a reasonable setting for 4mm aluminium. 
I'll try the same settings now on a 4mm T-joint. I've got a T-joint set up in the same material. I'm going to try welding that on exactly the same settings that I used for the 4mm lap joint. But as you can see the result's not too bad. To me it's a little bit, I want a little bit more power and a little bit more wire. I'll set another one up and try it with slightly more power and slightly more wire. Right, a little bit more voltage, just a touch more wire. Right, that welded a lot cleaner, very little suit and there's a lot of penetration there. You can even possibly go with slightly more wire with the same amount of current, slightly more wire with the same voltage, but that's quite a reasonable weld. You can see it's, as it's got towards the end here, as the material heats up, it starts to weld better and better. Right, I've moved things up again. This is a lap joint in 6mm aluminium plate. I've put some settings in, we'll give it a try and see what it welds like. Right straight away, that's a decent setting. You can tell when you're welding it. It's certainly burned well in. Once again, the weld starts to improve as the metal gets preheated. What I should really be doing is welding faster as I get towards that end, but it's not easy with it. We have got cameras and things set up. A little cools down, turn it over and do it again on exactly the same settings and just see if I can make a, a better job of welding it. But don't forget, this is all still being done on a 13 amp standard plug with a 13 amp standard fuse in it. Now these are the same settings as the last weld. I'm just going to try and make a, a little bit better job of it. Now, there's certainly nothing the matter with that. That's a nice clean weld. Loads and loads of penetration. Carrying on the same as I did with a 4mm plate. This is a 6mm T joint setup. I'm going to try welding it on exactly the same settings as I welded this 6mm lap joint. Okay, that really welded nice. No doubt about it. I'll do a little bit of a test on that now. That's the weld we've just done, there's only one side being welded. We'll do a little bit of a, it's still warm, we'll do a little bit of a test on it. There's several methods of testing welds, but this one seems to give it a pretty instant result. Uh, I think you've got to agree that there's not a great lot of matter with that really is there? So that's welded on 13 amps by a mechanic that pisses about.